Hello, my name is Gillian Alderson. I'm hosting this episode of the Footprints of Pacifica, brought to you by the Pacifica Historical Society. This show is the first in a series on the Art Guild of Pacifica. Pacifica is home to a vibrant community of artists, and the Art Guild has long been an important element in the cultural life of Pacifica and surrounding communities. We're honoured to welcome our studio guest today, Roberta Ewald. Roberta is a lifetime member of the Art Guild of Pacifica, a successful businesswoman, award-winning artist, and a 50-year resident of Pacifica. Welcome to our show, Roberta. Thank you very much, and it's so nice that you're doing this Fabulous. for the Art Guild. Yeah. I'm enjoying it too. Yeah. And uh, first, I would like to wish you a happy birthday. Oh, you're, you, somebody got to you. It's uh, not till <laughs> tomorrow, but... <laughs> and can I ask you, Roberta, how old will you be tomorrow? You what could ask, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I, I'm old enough, so I'd scare myself if oh. I did. <laughs> well, a little bird told me that uh, you're quite partial to dark chocolate, so we thought here from everyone at the uh, Channel 26 that they would, oh, would give you a little birthday gift today. <laughs> <laughs> I had told my son to tell him no presents, you know, because we're having a little party. I said, don't bring, but, but if they want to bring dark chocolates instead of car cards. <laughs> so did <laughs> he also, tell you? <laughs> well, a little bird told me. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, but Roberta, before we talk about the Art Guild, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your personal experiences. When did you at first understand that art was going to be very important in your life? Oh, that started quite early. My folks are from Sweden and we had accents and so we were, you, people were so cruel, the children particularly, if you, if you didn't conform completely while you were out. So I stood on the steps for about two, two or three years and then until uh, my uh, thir third grade teacher, she assigned paper dolls and the girls then one, I, no, no girls talked to me because I was the first grade I was oh. in the, with, with the, just boys and so it wasn't done. But then they, they wanted me to help them. So I knew art was my friend. You can believe I helped them too. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and didn't then, something happen it, in the sixth grade as well? And then in sixth grade, no, yeah. that, that was just in third grade. That in third sixth grade. In sixth grade uh, the teacher had a, a friend of hers come and do a, a really mesmerizing uh, painting on the blackboard. And uh, so she must have noticed how impressed I was. And the next day she brought me a wonderful box of, of uh, pastels in a wooden mm. box. Very, it's, it's, I've still got it. Oh, gorgeous. And, huh? and uh, that's when I started. And it was, it was uh, very exciting to, to learn that I could, I learned I could draw. Fantastic, <laughs> how wonderful. Yeah. And uh, your formal education was in accounting. So um, uh, tell us about your first uh, accounting job in Minnesota. Oh, oh in Minnesota, but well, yes, mm. I, uh, I had been in Florida and I came back in, in the middle of the winter mm. and, and uh, to get a job in, in, as a head accountant, you, you know, you, you could be, you would do the work and some twit would do the job <laughs> in, in those days. <laughs> but this company, the Baker Importing Company, they were the first importing, uh, the first uh, instant coffee makers. And there was uh, three brothers. The two older brothers had died, but the widows remained. Mm -hmm. And so they, it was two against one, and so, the, so they hired me. But the manager and the owner, uh, I, I just came and dusted the desk, desks for six weeks. Oh, wow. But I wasn't about to be skunked. And so <laughs> <laughs> there was a very delightful old, older man. And uh, he, I asked him, how long, when, when were these accounts receivable in balance? And I'm a, a wizard accounts receivable. Mm. And he had been there for over 40 years and didn't remember. So I knew my work was cut out. And I, when I started collecting all, on all the credit memos, the money started coming in. And uh, that's when they decided they'd let me do the job. Like so we, we, in those days, we, we, I don't think the, gir the girls have any idea how hard it was to break in to, to anything uh, in, from, from the, uh, that period, you know, mm -hmm. and now it's well, easy. <laughs> yes, and uh, also I heard that um, um, one of the times your manager would not let you do the work. Oh, what, what is that? Your manager would not let you do the work? Oh, no, he was, he, was he, he, then he, no, he wouldn't let me. No. He wouldn't but, let but, you. But then when, as I say, I, yeah, I think, thought, well, maybe, the, maybe she knows something and we'll have to let her do it. So, or <laughs> oh, gave up. You proved yourself, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, how is it that a Minnesota girl became a California girl? 
Well, uh, actually, I, as I say, I came back to Minnesota and, the, and there wasn't a smile on the streetcars for the, and my uh, sister Ann, she had a neighbor, uh, we had a neighbor who had been to California and all they talked about was California. Mm, and so she called me at work one day and she said, I'm leaving in two weeks and if you <laughs> want to go with me, you better give your notice. So I did. Oh, what an adventurer you are. <laughs> uh -huh. Adventurous so, so, spirit. So that's how I came out. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. I never and regretted it. No, I'm sure. <laughs> and what, well, you, you, you're still here. You've had a wonderful time here. Yeah. And what was your experience working as, a, as an accountant in San Francisco? Well, and th at that time, jobs, the, the men were all at work, and the jobs were very plentiful. So we met for lunch, and my sister said, I've got three jobs. How many have you got? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and I, since I was aiming for a, a head accountant, mm. it took me at least till the end of the day, but I, I worked at Shell Chemical oh. for quite some time. Fabulous. And, and, set up, and I, I was there oh, long enough to set up an accounting system for them. And uh, the, the, uh, I worked so hard at it that I had the 10-day flu and went home and, and was in bed. And when I came back to work, the three young men in the department who had done, had put it all back the way it was. Oh. And so I, I went into the uh, fellow that ran the office. And he says, you want us to goose step around here? <laughs> he said, but then when he explained that these young men count on this overtime, to raise their families, why I thought, all right. Got it, uh, but it was OPA, you know, that was, uh, you, you couldn't uh, get another job if you were working for an essential uh, um, industry, I guess it was called. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get work to work for six weeks. And uh, in the meantime, Shell was sold, and uh, Mr. Sean Duby came in, and he, uh, he complained about their system. Uh -huh. And so then the manager, he trotted out my, my uh, formula for, for <laughs> and, and so he said, well, wonderful. where is she? Get her back. Oh, and, so that, but, yeah. but no, I didn't, I wouldn't go back. I, go back. I, I, in the meantime, I decided to be a public accountant. Oh, okay. So, so oh, that's, that's when story. I became, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, when and why did you move to Pacifica? Oh, well, uh, it's, it's sometimes when, when uh, my fam, my, uh, Mother died, or, or something. Anyway, I was made executive of the estate, and my older sister just couldn't handle that. And so it was a case of uh, either getting along or, or mm -hmm. you know, so, uh, but, but it was very distressing because that was my job. I was, we had a, a house that went back to about 1850, and, and I was mm. to, I wanted to, my job was to preserve the, the estate. Yes. But her need to tear it down was greater than mine. To, to, so, so, but it, it defeated me so that I wanted to get away. So we, we came out uh, to, to California and, and uh, that was in 50, 59, oh, I think. 59. 59, 59. The ocean was calling the coast. It's so it, beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Well, actually, I decided, I decided before I moved that I was going to see if there was an art group there. Uh -huh. And they had just formed. I just missed the uh, being a, a charter member of the and, of the yeah, art guild. Of the oh. art guild, uh huh. What? And but it was wonderful, a wonderful group of people, and they, we we did. Uh, well, we we worked to, to improve our work is what we yes, did. Yes, yes. And and we really did support had, each other. Yeah, mm. we had uh, Don Carlson. He was a teacher, you know, marvelous artist, and Rod and Sidney Clark. They still live yes, here. Yes, yes. Uh huh. And there was quite a few of them. And uh, Juanita Lombardi? Who? Juanita Lombardi? Juanita Lombardi. She wasn't an artist, but she decided that the community had talented people and needed, needed it. Needed it. She, needed was, a... she was just a wonderful, you know, unselfish lady. That's all. And so, so, she, so it was her idea. Oh, and how wonderful. It, yeah, mm -hmm. it really was. Mm -hmm. And uh, what were the guiding principles of the early art guild? Art. Art, art, pure art. Period, <laughs> art. Uh, to, we, to help each other improve and to in, uh, promote and encourage art for the community. For the community, very for rewarding. The, for the community. Mm, yes. And yeah. who was allowed to join? And who were the... the allowed to join. Allowed, oh, anybody who was interested in art. Anyone. You didn't have to, you didn't have to know how to paint. Oh, and we had quite a few good. people who just came because I guess we were such nice people, they enjoyed being with us. Of course, of course. <laughs>
Oh, uh, that's great. And you are a painter yourself. Oh, yes. yes. I, I've painted ever since sixth grade. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I, I started with pastels. Oh, great, at, uh, great. Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to, what about yeah. we take a look at some footage that we shot in your home studio? Okay. So we'll take a look at that right All now. All right, yes. Yeah, my, I have a pastel there, I think. Oh, won't it? Wonderful. We'll see if we can yeah. see one there. Yeah. We can see the, the coast of Pacifica here. We're, we're probably zooming in now on where you are. Uh, oh, the, oh that's the... my view, I think. Oh, wonderful. It's a beautiful uh, I, I view. I have the best Pacific. view in Pacifica. Oh, but, uh, how gorgeous. I looked for a couple of years before I, before I found it. And it, it has the, the whole panorama of the city. How fabulous. So you paint with the wonderful light of the Pacific. You have a wonderful studio with the yeah, great yeah. lighting. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, my studio now, I moved to upstairs because my son is downstairs. So oh, okay, it, uh, great. He is oh, here we have some, some uh, showing some of the footage here. Is, is that some of my work there? We've got, um, we're still looking at uh, your oh, view. Oh, I was, yes, yes. I was wondering because I didn't, I didn't remember doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, here we go. I can see yeah. a picture of you painting now Oh, yeah. in your studio. At uh, my new studio. Wonderful. At, uh, uh, here's a painting. This is a landscape painting. Uh -huh. Is that one in Pacifica? Uh, yes, it is. Yes. I see some clouds, or is that fog coming over the uh, over think, the top of the um, uh, I th horizon? I, no, I th that's just clouds. Just clouds on the it's, day. It's, it's, that's up the hill. Or, no, this one is up the hill from my house. Oh, great. It's uh, beautiful. Right on the top, from the top up to the water tower on. Um, I don't know what they call that. Sweeney Ridge? No. Yeah. Sweeney Ridge, Sweeney, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. Thank oh, you. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's a gorgeous one. The, uh, oh, I, I, think, yeah. I think I'm doing my son's dog. Oh. In there. Now this, oh, I there. think you said, is a picture That's a of pastel your, of my dad. Of your father, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. it, it's uh, one of my favorites. Oh, it looks a great one. Yes. Well, it looks when exactly. I mean, it's it's got the essence of uh -huh. it. Uh huh. Ah, yes. And when did you do my, my that nieces. one, Roberta? Oh, I did that one um, uh, quite a long time ago. I think in in um, on, a min on a vacation in Minnesota one time. Oh, yeah. excellent. Uh -huh. yeah, very, very so, good. Yes. So he looks very happy. It, oh, mm. he he was he mm -hmm. he was a very very unique man, really, uh -huh. uh, and uh, very very. Uh, and he's watching Original. you do what you love too. And yes, I nice. guess he, yes, he, yeah. he. Well, he taught us to be independent, mm -hmm. and and kind of make up our own minds on what we wanted to do. Well, that that I think you've done and had yeah. a very adventurous <laughs> life. So that's perfect. Yes. Here's and another one now that yeah, we're looking at. Uh, now that's um, that's from. I have a place up in country in Sebastopol in the oh, country. All right. With, with the. Apple trees, but this is the front of it. I have the best view up there too. Uh, we were going for a ride one Sunday afternoon with my sister and brother-in-law, and you know it's better to have a destination. Mm, and I saw an course. ad in the paper for a place that looked just like mine—a view and hardwood floors and everything. So I called and made an appointment, and we went to this place in Sebastopol. And uh, my husband fell in love with it. That was it. He just was going to buy it, and there he, you were. Uh -huh. So that was Sebastopol. Yeah. Uh huh. So this one looks like. Uh, it's on an angle. This looks like it's a, yeah. oh yes, there's the, the dog with its, yeah, it's uh, blue. the profile of the dog, yeah, yes. Yeah. And now we've got one with this, is this the apple trees? Oh that, yeah, that's yes. apple blossoms up in Sebastopol. Oh beautiful. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're from the very, back. Very, very nice. The, so this is all from your, from your place? Uh-huh, from the, this very is nice. up in Sebastopol mm -hmm. place. Uh, the other, I, I, I don't think I brought one from uh, uh, here, I don't, I don't know if we, um, if we have a view, well, yeah, we did. We had the one of the of the hill and and, yes. the, and the front too. Gorgeous. Oh, there, yeah. there's yeah beautiful detail you've got in that one. I really like that. Of the that's the of the apples. The, the just, blossoms. Uh, yeah, yes, the apple yes, blossoms. Very, very yeah. nice. Yeah, the. the uh, and you um, you've brought a few other paintings. Perhaps later we might have a chance to look at those as well. Yeah. Yes. Well, I. Uh, we we painted. I painted along lo lots. My we got. I, I should have that done by the time this is done. <laughs> <laughs> the dog, the dog is um, yeah. is really yeah. progressing. Yeah. 
it uh, in the oh now yeah here we've got a yeah that's view. another one of, of the carport and then uh, I've improvised the hills in the distance and stuff you know but uh, that's a great one too yeah yeah that looks uh, yeah there's a lot of um, you know the pale background it lo almost looks like fog in the background there too. yeah it's 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 actually mountains and hills and here we are back in yeah. Pacifica uh-huh to our the our, wonderful view of view. Pacifica yes 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 your current view I've got quite a few of those but I uh, yes yeah, yes yeah. Uh -huh. well it was wonderful to look at that and uh, um, if we can uh, find out a few more things you and your husband operated your own travel business yes uh -huh. yes and uh, my husband my business. husband from the time he was nine he knew the subway station from the, in New York he knew the whole system and uh, even when we, he was a salesman a very good mm -hmm. salesman but he, he planned people's trips in preference to anything else you know and I'd, I thought we're never going to we're just going to barely e eke out a living unless he gets in the travel business. He was a natural at it. Yeah, so like I went years. to Minnesota and said, when I come back, I want you to be in the travel business. I don't care if you are making a dime, but you've got to <laughs> learn it. And he did. And ha tell us how this business crossed over into the artistic lives of yourself and other members of the Guild. How did the oh, travel... Oh, well, what, we had a, a branch in South San Francisco. Uh -huh. And uh, it had a big uh, hall in the back with, with space for, for paintings. And so, and since I always had done promotion, why well, I, I had members of the art guild always uh, showed there, so, so they alternated, oh, and then fabulous. we'd have receptions, uh -huh. and so it uh, it was a uh, I, I, I the art guild nearly died, you know, it was mm -hmm. nearly dead, and uh, I went to I. I, I was so busy that I was one of the mem the recalcitrant members, you know, and uh, but then I, I I was put on the because I offered them to hang the paintings, they evinced interest, so they put me on the board. <laughs> oh, so I went to a meeting. I went to a meeting to to resign, uh -huh. and and <laughs> and then that I didn't happen. And then there were two people that came because they had read in the paper that we had an art guild, and I thought I can't let th we can't let this happen. Let that happen? No. So so I we had a big party at my house and revived it, and and uh, we had no place then, but we 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 showed us the boat. Uh, Bowling alley, and we at showed the sea at church. Bowl? I think yes, uh -huh, the sea bowl. Uh -huh. That's right. Yes, but, yes. And, and before long, we and, oh, and then the uh, Periwinkle Gallery had the the, yes. the uh, Pedro Point fi Firehouse. So we started having shows there, and we had wonderful shows there. Fantastic. Wonderful parties. Wonderful uh -huh. parties. Uh -huh. Party girl here. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> and uh -huh. another interesting. Uh, a fact that I, I find fascinating is that when you traveled you didn't ever use a camera tell us a bit more about that oh well I I wanted me mementos of where I came and so I took my watercolors and then whenever we'd go someplace so we were, we'd go on business and we were invited to a reception well I would send Henry down first and say, just tell him she dresses she's awful slow dressing she'll be down <laughs> later and then I did a watercolor everywhere I came with uh, uh, first first thing I came to How to anywhere. and because of I had um, had my shows I was well we were known in the in the industry so I all, we always got the best review in the house the room with the best How view it was so you easy. see it had <laughs> It had several benefits. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. great. And uh, the um, could you explain a little bit about your um, the Travelers Art Gallery? That was the early important um, career for many AGP members. Oh yes. Uh, oh yes. That was that was the the rear the back part of the uh, office, and then we owned a Victorian house next door. Mm. And at first, first couple of shows I had in the uh, office and and the Victorian, but I was so nervous about people stealing there because it was easier to get into into yes. the Victorian. So I, then I put my things there, and so that was called the Travelers Art Gallery, oh. and and that worked quite well. And then and then the other we had the, the guest artists, and we'd have receptions and and dances and everything else. It was it worked very well. You have some very creative ideas and very helpful. That's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, where did the Art Guild hold its meetings and art shows? Any other places in the early years? And, and, uh, at the, the in, in the uh, library, it was built in, on Hilton Lane. Uh 
Yes. And they had a, a room, and that was just home to us for a long, long time. That was wonderful. But then, of course, when we when it di died out, then we had it uh, different places mm -hmm. for a while mm -hmm. because. Uh, uh, and and uh, did the guild focus on any particular type of artwork? Was it one type of artwork? What did they in the beginning? What did they focus on? What oh, oh, they oh, type oh, of artwork that uh, they focused on? Just whatever you liked. Whatever but you of liked. course, it, at first it was just painting. No, yes. Yeah, and just then painting. it expanded after and, that. And well, you know, nobody, photography has not been an art form, uh, you know, for, for terribly long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. And that, so that became, and then sculpture we, was always uh, part of it, you know. And I think um, ceramics came later, and, was and that right? And ceramics were, were not considered art. Art, for, until at, a long time the, later. They were bowls to, to eat out of, for heaven's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you don't but, have those but, as artwork. Uh, but, yes. but then they, they then also they became art. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So it has broadened out a great deal. That's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, can you tell us about the annual Mother's Day shows at the Sanchez Adobe? Oh, oh, that was, that was huge. Mm -hmm. Absolutely mm -hmm. huge. We had at Sanchez Adobe. And uh, one year, a couple of years, we had the festival all over the city, in the churches and, and in the, the children in the schools, and uh -huh. uh, for a weekend, an uh -huh. art weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, at, we, we did, we did uh, well, everybody knew that there was art in Pacifica. That's that fantastic, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And uh, there were art contests too? Oh yes. For the children? Uh, oh yes. Uh, mm. uh, when we had this big uh, annual show, then, yes. then when we gave prizes, because children like prizes. Motivated they, by prizes, yeah. yes. <laughs> and uh, and the, these were open to anyone and everyone in the community, is that right? Oh yes, yes. of course. If, so. if, you, if you could paint, that was, that was better, but if you just wanted, were interested in art and wanted to support it, why well, that was even, that was just as good. So yeah. the, uh, the foundation was really expressing your creativity and any, just be encouraged to do that was yeah. really mm -hmm. one of its motivators. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's Absolutely. a wonderful thing. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah it was very open and, uh, and community-minded, the Art Guild. It, it never, nobody ever was paid until now, in the later years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. When? And uh, it's, uh, so it's, there's a more formal, the Guild has a more formal uh, show, art show now annually, is that correct? Well, they do, uh, do now. I, I, I'm not active in the Art Guild now. Oh, okay. See, we, we, uh, there was, there was a, unfortunately a great schism when, when it changed from, just community to to uh, a salaried uh, well it changed and was there a more formal membership like a while ago did they have a more annual membership then uh, the oh I'm, I'm sure now that with the Sanchez that, that, that they have a, uh -huh. a good membership right right to, what about the periwinkle art gallery well see the periwinkle you uh, mentioned it before as well they, yes, yeah. they, 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 uh, they just gave up just quite recently they they had um, uh, uh, the last uh, shop was in uh, the, where the schoolhouse at that end of the city, the north end of the city. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess it's been quite a while, but it se doesn't seem too long. They, they were active and supportive of the arts for, for years a and long, years. A long, long time. They were uh -huh. instrumental in And the Dale, of course, is a wonderful singer. And, and, and that went with it, you know. Yes. We always had music with our shows when we had our, at the, at the Traveler's Art Gallery we had. We had music too, and so it. Uh, Very good. Uh huh. And uh, what about the firehouse at Pedro Point? Well, well, that's that's where Dale and Enid. That's where oh, they had that's their where they place. Had their uh huh. Mm -hmm. They had theirs there for a while, and and and, and I think that's still going. I don't know. Uh, uh, whether anyone, whether yeah, I think they still rent still. it out to, for, for for parties and things. I haven't Fun been there time. for a long uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, for many years, you were an officer of the Art Guild, including including multiple years as president. It, it, you were the president of the Art Guild. Oh, oh several yes, times. Yes. <laughs> and, and, but, and I, but I was treasurer for years, and that, of course, means you're membership chairman, too. Well, that brought so. in your expertise of accounting. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I suppose. Yes. It, and, well, it's not a job that's, it's, it's, uh, that's practical to keep switching around because dues are involved with members, and so it's, it becomes a, my, it was a combination of membership and, our, and uh, treasurer for years. Wow. Yes. Wonderful, yeah. and that's where you said you revived it 
late, earlier you said you revived it by doing parties and getting people more interested again. So it, that, uh, that well, helped. we, we yeah. revived it by yeah. We I had a party at my house mm. and uh, and we 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 did it. We called it something with the arts, but. Uh, Anyway, we revived the Fun the time, that was yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I understand you're also um, the author of several musical productions. Can you tell us something about them? Oh, well, uh, when, when, I, when I was at Tahoe at 60, I decided if I was going to do the things that I want to do, I better do it. So I told my husband, I, I'm no longer doing everything. You're going to have to take over. And, uh, and so I, I did. I devoted more time to... Uh, I wrote first, I wanted to write a, 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 a musical about my folks and about Swedish music. You know, oh, you hear about mu Irish music all mm -hmm. the time, but mm -hmm. this is wonderful Swedish music. And so that was called The Wanderers, and oh. I did that one. And then it, that was followed by the, the uh, we met well on the next generation. I never got to the third generation, <laughs> but, uh, and then I, uh, Pacifica had its 50th anniversary. And so I did the, called the Coastside Bowl, which is a spoof, a history, historical spoof on it. Oh, wow. So, so I did that. And so and I, I wrote some of the music and uh -huh. some, of, some of it was, uh, well, uh, uh, traditional music that, that everybody would know. Multi-talented. Yeah, and yeah. then also, um, the, uh, you've got the, uh, your keyboard production company and you've sponsored events for that too. Yeah. It, well, that happened because... Um, when I when I did my second production, I, I was my nephew was is a lawyer and he was up and I said, oh, it'd be so much easier if I didn't have to work. Uh, uh, the uh, Mildred Owen and the Arts and Heritage worked with me and they were wonderful, but uh, it, it 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 hampered you somewhat because you had to make arrangements with the meetings and all. Mm -hmm. And he said, I can get that for you because you're creative and you you do all creative things. And so uh, we we were. Uh, formed to do original productions, and we did. We've continued to do that. Mm. Uh, I, I have slacked off lately, but um, we used to do composer showcase cases. Well, it looks like um, we've got. Uh, there's so many more things I would love to talk with you about, and uh, I understand you're having a show at Rockaway Beach this January, so we'll be able to. We don't have much time right now, no. and we'll have to look out for your work. And uh, we've got. Um, we could have even looked at paintings and all sorts of things. Yeah. But uh, it seems to be all we have time for now on tonight's show. So um, we're really grateful to you, Roberta, for coming to the studio tonight. And we want to remind you, our viewers, that we'd love to have you join us at the Pacifica Historical Society. Contact Kathleen Manning at 359-5462 or visit our website at pacificahistory.org. Yeah.